Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see how to print a given matrix in a spiral form. In this problem, you will be given a 2D array and you have to print it in a spiral form. For example, you are given this 2D array as input. So the output of this, uh, this input array should be 1, 2, 3, 4, so which is the which are the four top uh, first four elements of the output then we go down 8 12 16 here then we go left so 15 14 13 15 14 13 then we go up 9 5 then we again go right so we uh, cover 6 and 7 and then finally we go down 11 and then at the end we print the element 10 so in this way we have to actually print the elements in the spiral form so let's see another example so as you might have guessed uh, so the elements will be printed in uh, this order which is the spiral order okay so before uh, going into the, uh, the code part let's first of all uh, understand how we are going to solve this problem so if you uh, see the problem to print the array in a spiral form we can actually divide the problem into four parts the first part being going right then going down then going towards the left and then finally going up all we need to make sure is that once we have printed a row or a column we do not print it again and we actually print the row or column below or to the left or to the right of it so if we have printed the say the first uh, row already then we and then next time we come here we print the row below it okay so uh, let's see if we have this uh, this input array so what we'll do is we first of all uh, print the first row which is one two three and four and once we have done that we'll actually in a way reduce the array uh, so we keep reducing the array so this array uh, will not have these uh, four elements once these are actually already traversed and we'll consider that we only have these elements in the array then again we'll start going down once we have traversed the elements till the uh, till the 16 then we'll again reduce the array to uh, only these nine elements then we'll go towards the right then towards the up then right then down and then finally left so in this way we are actually going to solve the problem that is the and that is to print the given array in a matrix form in a, in a spiral form so uh, coming to the code so here is the function spiral print uh, which takes as an argument integer m integer n and a 2d array so m and n are the respective sizes of the uh, 2d array so l m is the basically the number of uh, rows and n is the number of columns and a is the uh, that input array uh, now we uh, have these uh, five variables which we will be using in this function so k is the starting row index m is the ending row index so if we have a matrix here say we have a matrix of 3 by 3 so this case starting row index is pointing here ending row index is actually pointing here then l is the starting column index which is pointing to this and n is the ending column index which will be pointing here and I will be the iterator which we will be using in the uh, for loops so uh, what we'll do is uh, we run a, a while loop so this outer while loop will be running till k is smaller than m and l is smaller than n so as you remember k and m are the uh, starting and the ending row indices so and l and n are the uh, starting and the ending uh, column indices so 
we have this condition that uh, k should be smaller than m and l should be smaller than n to make sure that there are elements in the array to be printed so till the time elements are there in the uh, matrix to be printed what we do is we first of all print the uh, elements from left to right so uh, we run a for loop uh, the value of iterator i starts from l and it keeps on increasing till n minus 1 and we print the elements of the first row so of the uh, when we print the elements of the first row uh, the k will remain constant which is the starting index so starting of the row index uh, starting of the row and uh, uh, basically the uh, zero row in this case and i will keep on changing so we'll print the uh, first row in this way once we have printed the uh, first row we'll increment the value of k so that we in effect reduce the uh, size of the array and next time we come here uh, the value of k will not be zero it will be actually one similarly now we have to print the uh, rightmost column so you know that the uh, ending column index is actually n uh, basically the size is n so the ending column index will be n minus 1 so that is why the n minus 1 value is uh, constant and the iterator i is changing value from k to uh, m minus 1 and in the end we decrement the value of n just to uh, reduce the array uh, now similarly we have these uh, two uh, basically these two uh, conditions here where we are just checking that k if k is smaller than m then we run the for loop here we are checking l is smaller than n then we uh, run the for loop and in both the cases uh, we have the for the bottom most uh, row we have the m minus 1 as the index and for the uh, left most uh, column we have the uh, l as the index which is the constant and the iterator i goes from n minus 1 to l minus 1 uh, basically and the iterator i here goes from m minus 1 to uh, k minus 1 so in this way uh, we keep on printing the elements from left to right then down then left and then towards the up and then we do the same in the reduced array so after removing all the uh, corner elements we reduce the array and uh, then we again uh, run this uh, the four uh, print statements on for all four directions so uh, coming to the driver method so we have the input 2d array then we just call the spiral print and then it takes care of printing the uh, elements so given this array the output uh, comes out to be this now coming to the time complexity of the solution the time complexity is order of m into n where m is m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns so m into n is uh, is also the number of elements which will be there in the uh, matrix now because we are actually coming to each element only once so it is fairly simple to uh, deduce that the time complexity is order of m into n so that is all for this tutorial thank you very much